the Cretaceous period, a time when the Earth was dominated by dinosaurs. Colossal giants like Tyrannosaurus rex and Spinosaurus ruled the land, capturing our imaginations and standing as the undisputed kings of their domain. But what if we told you that the largest predator of this era wasn't a dinosaur at all? What if there was another apex predator, one so formidable and powerful that it challenges everything we thought we knew about the prehistoric world? Get ready to embark on a journey of discovery as we unveil the secrets of a creature that defied the norm. A predator so fierce and dominant, it reigned supreme in the shadows of the dinosaurs. Join us as we embark on a journey back in time to discover the astonishing truth about this ancient apex predator. About 82 million years ago in what is now North America, the world witnessed the emergence of one of the greatest predators, a gigantic crocodile. This colossal creature had been on the radar of paleontologists for a long time, first coming to their attention in the 1850s. Back then, large teeth were discovered in North Carolina. Initially, the discoverers believed these teeth belonged to a pliosaur. However, as more remains were uncovered, they realized their original classification was incorrect. Despite the initial misidentification, what they got right from the start was the sheer size and imposing nature of this creature. Its formidable characteristics inspired the paleontologists to name it accordingly. They gave it the name Dinosuchus, which means terrible crocodile. They also assigned it the species name Hacheri, thus officially naming it Dinosuchus Hacheri. With this name, this fearsome predator became well known in the annals of paleontological history. At the time, researchers claimed that adult individuals of the species could reach lengths of up to 49 feet, 14.9 meters, from snout to tail, with a weight exceeding 10 tons. This made the creature unimaginably large. However, as the years passed, these estimates were found to be exaggerations. Unlike many species that are initially thought to be enormous only to be later downsized to more modest sizes, Deinosuchus has maintained its impressive stature. New specimens have continually confirmed that this truly was a lineage of giant crocodilians the likes of which have never been seen before. So far, four known species of Deinosuchus have been confirmed. In addition to hatchery, these include Rugosus, Rio Grandensis, and Schwimeri. All four species are believed to have been giants, with Hatchery and Rio Grandensis being the largest among them. Paleontologists estimate that the average adult Deinosuchus would have measured between 8 to 10 meters, 26 to 33 feet, in length, and weighed anywhere from 2.5 to 5 tons, making them more than twice the size of a male hippo. Some individuals were able to grow even larger, Currently, the best studied large remains have come from the Rio Grandensis species, with some specimens appearing to be 1.5 times larger than the smaller species, Rugosus and Schwimeri. This has led to estimates that the largest Rio Grandensis adults could reach a staggering 12 meters, 39 feet in length, and weigh as much as 8.5 tons, making it heavier than any known crocodilian except for the Tyrannosaurus rex. At this size, Dinosuchus is considered the largest crocodilian to have ever lived, with only Sarcosuchus and Purosaurus coming close. Generally excluded from this debate is Sarcosuchus, as it wasn't truly a crocodilian but rather a Philidosaur, and it is currently estimated to have weighed around 5 tons. Purosaurus is now generally thought to have been smaller as well, with the absolute largest estimates for Purosaurus's weight being around 8.4 tons, making it just slightly smaller. However, being the largest crocodilian may not have been enough for Dinosuchus. Some believe that Dinosuchus hacheri could have grown significantly larger than its already massive relatives. Specifically, two specimens have been suggested to be much larger than any individuals found before, with the highest estimates giving them a length of over 14 meters, 46 feet, and a staggering weight of 13 to 14 tons. These numbers, however, have received much scrutiny. Multiple studies have since stated that these two specimens have not yet had their sizes fully confirmed. For now, the majority of paleontologists cite 39 feet 12 meters as the largest confirmed size for Dinosuchus. This still makes it one of the most impressive crocodilians to have ever lived. The sheer size of Dinosuchus makes it exceptionally larger than the largest crocodilian alive today, the saltwater crocodile. 
On average, the saltwater crocodile is around eight times smaller than the largest Dinosuchus. This extreme contrast between the two makes it almost hard to believe that Dinosuchus is related to crocodiles, but it indeed is, albeit distantly. Studies on its brain case have revealed that Dinosuchus is actually more closely related to another famous crocodilian, the alligator. It is a member of the same superfamily, the Alligatoroidea. This is one of the three superfamilies that make up the order Crocodilia and consists of alligators, caimans, and any extinct members more closely related to alligators than the other two groups. Along with its immense size, this evolutionary relationship adds another layer of fascination to the story of Dinosuchus. In addition to its brain case, Dinosuchus was also surprisingly similar to the alligator in terms of appearance, possessing both a body and snout that superficially resembled those of an alligator. This unfortunate resemblance for its victims meant encountering a giant alligator look-alike, which would have been quite a terrifying sight. However, despite these general similarities, Dinosuchus was actually very different from other crocodilians. It sported a skull shape, not seen in any living or extinct genus. Additionally, the size of its skull was something rarely seen in any predator, with the largest ones being around 5.5 feet, 1.7 meters long, about the same length as the skull of an adult Spinosaurus. Specifically, all 22 of Dinosuchus's teeth were extremely robust and built to withstand high forces without breaking. Some even appeared to have been highly specialized for demolishing large bones, as those close to the rear of the jaws were short, rounded, and blunt. All of these characteristics point to Dinosuchus truly having a massive bite force, along with being exceptionally durable. Additionally, its teeth were quite large, about the size of a banana, which combined with its body size made Dinosuchus a formidable predator of its time. The formidable bite of Dinosuchus has led paleontologists to believe that it may have preyed on some of the largest animals of its time, including dinosaurs. Hadrosaurs in particular are thought to have been a primary food source for this oversized crocodile. Several tail vertebrae found in Texas, belonging to duck-billed dinosaurs, bear bite marks that match those of Dinosuchus. These hadrosaurs were likely either Gryposaurus or Edmontosaurus. However, due to the size of Dinosuchus, it wasn't only these herbivores that were at risk. Other dinosaurs in its environment, such as a mix of ceratopsians and ankylosaurs, may not have been safe either. Even large theropods could have been targeted by this formidable predator. Certain bite marks on Appalachiosaurus have been attributed to Dinosuchus, indicating that it was a versatile hunter capable of taking down a variety of prey. It is even speculated that this colossal predator may have influenced the sizes of theropods in the areas it inhabited. Scientists have observed that within its eastern range, no theropod matched it in size, leading to the assumption that it was the apex predator of its region. It is believed that Dinosuchus would have had a significant impact on the behavior and evolution of other carnivorous dinosaurs in its ecosystem. It is speculated that Dinosuchus may have employed ambush tactics to capture dinosaurs, using its immense size and strength to fatally injure any unfortunate victim. Furthermore, like modern crocodiles, it is assumed that this colossal predator would have been capable of performing the death roll, adding another layer of lethality to its hunting prowess. Fortunately for the great dinosaurs, it appears that certain locations in the US provided safe havens from the reign of terror of Dinosuchus. In these specific areas, populations of Dinosuchus individuals were much smaller in stature than normal, likely due to various factors. These smaller Dinosuchus were more akin to modern-day alligators in behavior, being opportunistic feeders that focused on prey such as large turtles, fish, and small dinosaurs, rather than the larger ones. A fortunate advantage for its prey came from the growth rate of Dinosuchus, believed to have been relatively slow. This notion is supported by growth rings observed on its osteoderms, suggesting that individuals took around 35 years to reach full size. However, despite this extended growth period, juvenile Dinosuchus were by no means defenseless or harmless. While juvenile Dinosuchus were still relatively large, they retained their formidable bites. Furthermore, all Dinosuchus also possessed built-in armor in the form of osteoderms, bony plates that ran down their backs. These plates were unusually large and heavy, 
providing a high level of protection against most attacks from terrestrial and aquatic animals. But the function of osteoderms didn't end with protection. They also acted as attachment points for connective tissue, increasing the load-bearing capacity of its body and enabling it to move fairly efficiently outside of water despite its size. With these osteoderms, along with many other useful traits, Dinosuchus became a potent killing machine. Dinosuchus's success is highlighted by its extensive range, with remains discovered throughout the United States and northern Mexico. During its heyday, America was split down the middle by a shallow sea known as the Western Interior Seaway. Dinosuchus inhabited both sides of this seaway, spanning across ten different states. Discovered specimens have shown that it preferred estuaries, partially enclosed coastal bodies of brackish water with rivers or streams flowing into them, while still having a free connection to the open sea. This adaptability allowed Dinosuchus to thrive in a variety of environments. In addition to estuaries, remains of Dinosuchus have been discovered in what would have been freshwater lakes and rivers, as well as marine deposits. This suggests that it might have ventured into the deeper parts of the sea and possibly even the ocean. While some speculate that these remains were displaced after the animal died, if Dinosuchus did indeed explore deep waters, it is plausible that this mighty beast came into direct contact with some very real sea monsters, such as the giant mosasaurs of the time, some of which rivaled Dinosuchus in size. Unfortunately, no evidence of interactions between the two has been found. Along with mosasaurs, Dinosuchus likely navigated through a diverse and dangerous marine ecosystem during its reign. Dinosuchus's expansive habitat brought it into contact with a vast array of life, including dinosaurs. Among its various environments, it coexisted with species such as Iguanodon, Anodontosaurus, Gryposaurus, Cosmoceratops, Nedoceratops, Parasaurolophus, Utahceratops, Cathetosaurus, Styracosaurus, Agujaceratops, Pachycephalosaurus, Yawarasaurus, and various unidentified hadrosaurs and ceratopsians. Theropods were also abundant in these areas, including Saurornitholestes, Richardoesthesia, Acoraptor, Leptorhynchos, Apalachiosaurus, and several unidentified tyrannosaurs. Dinosuchus truly lived in a diverse environment teeming with dinosaurs. However, Non-dinosaurs were equally plentiful, represented by a variety of turtles, bony fish, multituberculates. The ecosystem where Dinosuchus thrived was rich and varied, providing ample opportunities for survival and adaptation. Unfortunately for all of these animals, they had to endure the reign of Dinosuchus for millions of years. However, their big break would come approximately 73 million years ago, when Dinosuchus essentially vanished from fossil formations without a trace. Currently, there are no concrete ideas on why it went extinct, and most are skeptical of blaming its size alone, as there were many other large animals that fared just fine. Hopefully, as more is discovered about this crocodile, we'll uncover why it vanished and just how big it truly was. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to update the latest content.